Hello, it's Matt here, and this is a video on how you would set up your newsletter for your agency lead gen. This is a good way to set it up no matter what type of agency you're in, no matter what your service is and what you do. It's just how you want to do it. So this isn't going to be scripted or anything. I'm just going to go like with screen share step by step on how I would do it and how I would set it up. So for the example, because we have to have some sort of example, I'm going to create this newsletter template and format as if I had a e-commerce landing page agency, which I have quite a bit of experience with. So let's get started. I'm in Beehive here and I have a blank template or blank email. I just clicked, you know, let's get started. So the first section that I'm going to do is what's going to be kind of an introduction slash summary of the newsletter. So I'm going to put something like welcome to the landing page newsletter. It is Matt from a thousand X leads. Before you read, be sure to sign up for my live web live landing page, or let's go live workshop where I go over the top nine things that make a great landing page link. So this is, and then I would just link this to whatever the, I don't have a page here, but let's just go a thousand X leads slash live workshop just to have the example here. So this is a very important. We always want to have like our main call to action, the second line of our newsletter in today's newsletter, we will go over the top landing pages of the week. What I think is the most important part of a landing page, a bunch of good Twitter posts and threads about landing pages and much, much more. So this would be what I would refer to as the introduction slash summary something like that of the newsletter. So you'd have your introduction, your name, you'd have your call to action or the like next step that you want them to take. It could be a webinar, it could be an application, it could be a schedule a call, it could be, what else could it be? It could be a course that you're selling, it could be a community that you run. Whatever you are trying to funnel people into, that's what you should do. And I'm, I would try to avoid booking a call as your call to action there from your newsletter to book a call. They might not be ready, but if you put them to a newsletter or something where you can have another form where you can get their name, their email, their phone number, their company URL and their average revenue, for example, like that is a great form to have. It's not quite as big of a commitment as booking a call, but you can enrich your data. You can enrich your list. You can get a better idea of who's qualified to reach out to from your appointment center or whoever. The next thing is I would do something that is just a quick hitter. Like for example, you might have um, something like a quote of the week. This could be replaced with absolutely anything. It doesn't have to be a quote of the week. And of course I would put it as a headline. So let's go quote of the week. And then just, we'll just go, you know, filler text, filler text, filler text, or we'll go lorem ipsum. We'll just get the lorem ipsum up here just so we can generate that a little bit. So let's go, let's just put our lorem ipsum stuff here because I want to do it as like, this is really how we do a newsletter. So there, we'll just go lorem ipsum. Some other examples here that wouldn't be a quote could be like idea of the week. That would be good. Let's just change it to that, you know, landing page idea of the week. I think that could actually be even better. A quote would be good if you have like a self-help newsletter or a local newsletter or something that's not like very specific B2B service like a landing page. I think that is actually very nice. So the next thing we want to do here is we want to get another heading and we want to do, oops, I put a heading one by accident when I want a heading two. So top links of the week. 
So what we want to do here is we want to have like four or five or six or seven or eight links. Who knows? There's no hard and fast rules, but links that we can include here that would be interesting to our target audience, right? So for example, this is one of the best landing pages I've seen in a while and then have a link to the landing page. That would be a very nice, um, very nice thing to do for this because that's just like content. Here are five things that you should consider for your next landing page. And a very good hack or a very good trick here is to link to your own content. So if I had a Twitter post, I don't in this example, but if I had a Twitter post that actually did that, right? It showed you the, like it was a thread or it was something like that, that showed you like five tips for your next landing page. I would link to my own content there. And that's just like an awesome way to kind of promote your own self, get them to trust you even more, get them to follow you, etc. They can easily message you on Twitter, for example, so they could take the next step. What would a next one be? I spent 12 hours making this free landing page masterclass and then a link. You could link to your own YouTube video that's however long with a landing page masterclass. You know, YouTube, when people see your YouTube videos, even if they even if they don't get a ton of views, it almost doesn't matter. It's more of a conversion tool than it is actually, you know, getting top of funnel traffic. So it's something that's a great thing to do. You know, here are the top five ads that I've seen this week or something like that. Links, you can link to a partner, you can link to just some other good content. You know, it doesn't really matter, but this is the kind of the idea of this section. And I think it's just a very, a very effective section that should not be overlooked whatsoever for the reason that it's going to get your click through rate high. It's going to, you know, make them excited to open your newsletter because you're having such good stuff in there. It's going to give you an opportunity to promote your other content on other platforms and you know, all of the above. It's just a great section to have. It's very easy to put a lot of content in there in the sense that, you know, writing something from scratch might take you an hour or two, but you can really fill that up in just a few minutes instead. It's just a very, a very valuable section that's time efficient and will make people excited to open your newsletter. The next thing I would do is we have this kind of section like this sentence up here, but I would have a, I guess you'd call it a promote, oops, a promotional section. Oops, oh my God, I'm just blowing it here. So horizontal heading number two, we just have like sign up for my free live workshop on, let's just say Thursday for the sake of argument. And then you'd have, you know, maybe a, an image here to promote it. Let's see if I have any appropriate images. I don't really have any appropriate images for this, but you'd have your image here and then you'd have your lorem ipsum text, you know, click here, click the link to sign up and then you'd have the link here. So that's what I would do there for sure. If you don't have something like this, you could have a sponsor who's paying you money. You could be have an affiliate link to a software or a SaaS or something like that. But I am a big believer in, so let's think of the flow here. We have our ad or our content. They sign up for our newsletter, but we only have their email address usually. If you have something like this workshop or a community or further training or something like that, that they have to sign up for, it, it's kind of like you're pushing them down the funnel. The more stuff they sign up for you, the better chance they're going to become your customer. If you on this form for the live workshop here, I might also have their name, their phone number, their URL and their revenue. So that gives me more information and enriches my list, like I said before, and it pushes them further down the funnel. And just I think it's just such a good way to do it. And it's more efficient than going back and forth in the DMs or getting on a sales call type thing. When your workshop, you can you know, educate 
10, 20, 50, 100, 200 people, however many sign up, right? So the next section we want to do is going to be called, oops, wrong one here. This is going to be our deep dive. So this will be your original content. Like only like, it's not G chat GPT. It's not something you found on the internet. It's your original content with photos, with graphics, with whatever that you have written. You're the only person that can provide this kind of stuff. And they're coming to your newsletter by and large to read this section. And you should think of it in three ways. Number one, it's going to actually help them. You know, that would be nice. Number two, they can implement it within 24 hours. And number three, it's your own style of writing type thing. You don't use ChatGPT. You don't, you know, you're not a professional academic here. You're trying to explain it to them as if you were talking to them, right? If it, you write this section as if you were talking to one person. That's the best way, in my opinion, to think about it. So the next one I would do right here is I would do a piece of content or um, something that has a poll. So in a lot of these platforms, you can select a poll that will give you feedback. And this is important because you want your poll. You want, it's good for, you know, getting real time feedback instead of just hoping it's good or being too nervous to ask. We need that real time feedback about what we like, if the use, if the readers are liking it, you know, how would you rate this? I loved it. It was okay. It was terrible. You know, one star, three stars, five stars. And in my opinion, we want to aim for at least 80% five stars for obvious reasons, but it gives you a good target. So you don't, you know, we have clarity here. And the last section that I would say we want to have by default is a work with me section. So, Either let's go, let's go how I can help instead. That just sounds a bit better. So in this one, I have over 200 hours of free video training on my YouTube channel. Let's go link because we want them to consume as much of our YouTube, especially or video content as we can, because the video content is almost like five or 10 or 20 times as effective as at converting them to a customer as our, our written content. I am putting on a free live workshop. Like we said before on Thursday, you can sign up here link. Let's put something. If you are looking to improve your landing page skills, but don't want to hire anyone, I have a course that teaches you everything you need to know link, or if you are looking to get a high converting landing page, we have worked with over seven or let's go 800 brands and helped X, Y, and Z get 20% higher conversion rate apply here link. So this is the framework that I would always have by default. I'm saying, I know a lot of people think in frameworks or they don't think at all in terms of like how I'm going to do this. So I just wanted to make this video as to give you a baseline. You do, you take this framework here and you do whatever you want with it, right? This is going to give you the 95% of the results, but Everyone's different. Everyone has a different style. Everyone has different content. Everyone has different offers like down here, but you should really, in my opinion, start with this framework and then see where it takes you. You can send one email per week. Look at the poll results. There's also comments that they can leave when they do the poll. And then you can kind of see, you know, what you want to do. And then if you get good, good feedback from people, you can do that. If you get bad feedback from people, you know, you have to change something, et cetera. And a bonus thing here is you can do a referral program. So basically that's like to get people to sign up for your newsletter, get their friends to do it, their family, their colleagues. And what you can do is you can promise them a lead magnet. So you could do like, 
get three people to sign up for this newsletter and I will give you a swipe file of 200 landing page templates. That's a great way to incentivize people and grow your newsletter for free and grow it kind of exponentially if you can get the right lead magnet that people want. It's just a great way to do it. If someone signs up for your newsletter, they're going to be friends or at least in contact with other people who are in the same niche as them and they're going to want the lead magnet reward. So they're going to share it and you're going to kind of grow through word of mouth at a much faster pace than you would have otherwise. So this is a great framework to do your newsletter, see where it takes you. I'm going to wrap this video up right now, but just design your newsletter, get a template, get a format, get a framework, and then duplicate it and fill it out each week and try to make it 10% better than the next week. And that's a great way to start.